Porter, remember what I gave in charge. And when you have done so, bring the keys to me. Madam, I will. The plot is laid. If all things fall out right, I shall as famous be by this exploit as Scythian Tomorus by Cyrus' death. Great is the rumor of this dreadful night, and his achievements of no less account. Fain would mine eyes be witness with mine ears to give their censure of these rare reports. According as your ladyship desired, thy message craved, so is Lord Talbot come. And he is welcome! What? Is this the man? Madam, it is. Is this the scourge of France? Is this the Talbot so much feared abroad that with his name the mothers still their babes? I see report is fabulous and false. I thought I should have seen some Hercules, a second Hector for his grim aspect and large proportion of his strong-knit limbs. Alas, this is a child. Silly dwarf! It cannot be this weak and riddled shrimp should strike such terror to his enemies. Uh, madam, I have been bold to trouble you, but since your ladyship is not at leisure, I'll sort some other time to visit you. What means he now? Go ask him whither he goes. Uh, stay, my Lord Talbot, for my lady craved to know the cause of your abrupt departure. Marry, for that she's in a wrong belief, I go to certify her Talbot's here. If thou be he, then art thou prisoner. A prisoner? Uh, to whom? To me, bloodthirsty lord. And for that cause I trained thee to my house. Long time thy shadow hath been thrall to me, for in my gallery thy picture hangs. But now the substance shall endure the like, and I shall chain these legs and arms of thine, that hast by tyranny these many years wasted our country, slain our citizens, and sent our sons and husbands captivate. Thou <laughs> <laughs> thy wretch, thy mirth shall turn to moan. I laugh to see your ladyship so fond to think that you have aught but Talbot's shadow whereon to practice your uh, severity. Why art not thou the man? I am indeed. Then have I substance too? No. No, I am but shadow of myself. You are deceived. My substance is not here. For what you see is but the smallest part and least proportion of humanity, I tell you, madam. With a whole frame here, it is of such a spacious, lofty pitch. Your roof were not sufficient to contain it. This is a riddling merchant for the nonce. He will be here, and yet he is not here. How can these contrarieties agree? That will I show you, presently. say you, madam, are you now persuaded that Talbot is but shadow of himself? These are his substance, sinews, arms, and strength, with which he yoketh your rebellious necks, raiseth your cities, and subverts your towns, and in a moment makes them desolate. Victorious Talbot, pardon my abuse. I find thou art no less than fame hath bruited, and more than may be gathered by thy shape. Let my presumption not provoke thy wrath, for I am sorry that with reverence I did not entertain thee as thou art. Be not dismayed, fair lady, nor misconster the mind of Talbot, as you did mistake the outward composition of his body. What you have done hath not offended me, nor other satisfaction do I crave, but only with your patience that we may taste of your wine, see what cates you have, for soldiers' stomachs always serve them well. With all my heart, and think me honoured to feast so great a warrior in my house.